Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the muscle tissue. First, the longitudinal section of skeletal muscle. The muscle consists of numerous muscle fibers. A muscle fiber is nothing but a multinucleated syncytium of cells. It is formed by fusion of small individual muscle cells called myoblasts. The length of the muscle fibers can vary from few millimeter example in the stapedius to few meters in sartorius. They have a peripherally placed nucleus. Multiple nucleus will be there and they are pushed by the muscle fibrils which are present in the inside the muscle fiber. This muscle fibril extend throughout the length of the muscle. In some of the section where it is very thin, we can see some striations also. The striations are nothing but the sarcomere unit in the muscle fibrils. Sarcomere is nothing but area between the two Z lines. You can see it has a dark band which is occupies the majority of the place and a light band. So part of a light band of one sarcomere and other sarcomere together forms a light band. So when you are drawing dark and light band, make sure they are almost of equal width. Don't draw a dark band and white, white band is very wider and all. So they are of equal width. When the muscle contracts, the dark band remains the same whereas the light band decreases in size. When the muscle is stretched also, the dark band width will remain the same. So make sure you write closer dark band and the width of dark and light band should be equal. So each muscle fiber will be covered by the connective tissue sheath, the endomysium covering the individual muscle fiber with small capillaries and perimysium covering the fascicle. Coming to the transverse section of skeletal muscle fiber, the each muscle is covered by a connective tissue sheath which is called epimysium. It's a dense connective tissue sheath which contains the blood vessels and nerves, bigger vessels and nerves. The epimysium encloses numerous muscle fascicles or the bundles. Each bundle is covered by another connective tissue sheath which is called perimysium. Inside the perimysium you have a collection of muscle fibers each muscle fiber will be enclosed by a thin reticular fibers, very thin connective tissue sheath which is called endomysium. The endomysium is made up of a thin delicate reticular fibers and very minute blood vessels run in that. So the muscle fibers, they are polygonal in shape. The center you have to shade because they contain muscle fibrils and have to give multiple nucleus which are situated in the periphery flat nucleus which are situated in the periphery of the muscle fiber so you have to label perimysium epimysium and also the endomysium along with the polygonal shaped muscle fiber with peripherally placed flat nucleus don't forget to draw blood vessels in the connective tissue sheath these connective tissue sheets are very important. They are essential for the forced transduction of these muscle fibers. At the end of the muscle fiber, they are continue with the tendon of the muscles. And they help in insertion of the muscle to the bone. So these connective tissue sheets are very important coverings of the muscle.
now coming to the cardiac muscle unlike the skeletal muscle cardiac muscle has a number of cells they are separated by an intercalated disc so it is uh, the connection the number of cells are connected by an intercalated disc and also they have branching so make sure you show the branching pattern also the intercalated disc is like a staircase pattern when you see in a hypa so it is like little zigzag manner so it is a attachment of longitudinal the cylinder of cells next to one another and they have a, a round oval nucleus in the center because the myofibrils here they'll open up the cell, in the center the when the nucleus is there they'll go to the periphery and go they'll give a space in the center for the nucleus and the cytoplasmic organelles so that they most commonly the cytoplasmic organelles will be surrounding the nucleus showing a perinuclear halo so here also the striations you have to show dark and light band make sure the dark and light band width are almost the same you can flatten the pencil and draw it is not a single line straight line don't draw straight line you have to flatten the pencil and you have to draw and little bit of perinuclear halo also you have to show the each cell has a single nucleus that's a key identification feature so the key feature in the cardiac muscle is the single nucleus the number of nucleus is less the branching pattern the perinuclear halo and intercalated disc and lastly the coverings of it the endomysium which is in between the muscle fiber and surrounding one fascicle will be perimysium now coming to the smooth muscles smooth muscles you are going to see in many of the soft tissues as this is involuntary you will see in many of the gut uh, uh, respiratory system everywhere so in case of longitudinal section or circularly arranged smooth muscle you have to show the smooth muscle with the tapering ends so that is like a spindle shape with the tapering ends the bulge in the center is mainly because of the nucleus so they will be connected by gap junction so that they work synchronously so make sure you don't leave any much gap between the smooth muscles so tapering end the cells will be tapering end and a flat nucleus in the center when you take a longitudinal section of these smooth muscles they'll be they'll also will be arranged in muscle fascicles so in the bundles you have a perimysium the muscle fascicles will be arranged and you will see the section of smooth muscles so if the section passes through the center you have a wider diameter of the uh, circle then if it passes through the periphery you have a section of very thin uh, diameter of the muscle so you can write the section of the smooth muscle in various diameter need not be equal in size but you have to keep the nucleus which is centrally placed for the bigger one so if it passes through the periphery you won't see the nucleus only if the section passes through the center you will get it so hope the video was helpful if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you